What's up guys, Adam of AS Trains here. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of two new HO cars to my collection. As you see, obviously, as you can see immediately, these are two Coca-Cola cars. These are made by Athern, because as far as I know, Athern is the only manufacturer of these uh, HO uh, Coca-Cola reefer cars. I got these from my friend Anthony up in uh, New, I uh, know, excuse me, in New Jersey. And... I just got them today, and I'm already impressed with these cars. I already took it, I had taken them out of the box uh, and to, ch to check them, and I was very impressed with the detail. I was very impressed with the condition, and uh, I'm not saying that he would send me junk, no. But I was just uh, wanted to check to make sure nothing was broken during the shipment, and everything is flawless. And so, let's go ahead and get started on unboxing these things. Now, real quick, I got two designs. This is, as you can see, it's red and white. Nice design there. Coke. Uh, no is no season. Uh, I agree with that. And the second one, Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Serve Yourself. These are both, uh, as, you, as, as you saw at the bottom, they're 40-foot steel reefers. 187th scale train accessory. And there you go. Right here, it's at, this is Athen built. And you can probably see right here, uh, original price for when it was in the store is $13.98. The other one, uh, also another, another Athen built. The original price is right here, and apparent, and I cannot, and I cannot make out the price of this one. It was marked out. But anyways, let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and open these up. Now, how did I, how did I was, how was I able to get these? Well, we were talk, my friend and I on Facebook, we were talking about uh, uh sodas, and then I named my top three brands: Pepsi. Coca-Cola and the last one was kind of a an any brand which that was root beer and I was saying that one car uh, I'd like to own some Coca-Cola uh, cars or locomotives uh, that so then I could have them in my collection well then he said uh, he's got two Athern, Athern build uh, Coca-Cola reefers that he no longer wishes to keep he was wondering if I was interested and I said I'm a bit you've got my attention uh, what if I could see a picture and he said sure and so he sent me um, pictures of these cars while, um, with them still in their boxes. One thing I did notice though was that they did not have couplers. Now you can see couplers right here, in which I'm going to get that in a minute. But this is the first car. Really nice detail. They've painted the ladders. Uh, there's some you can't you can barely see it, but there's some writing right here and right here. This one says, in fact, both of them say CCCX. You know, X meaning that it's a um, it's not exactly real. On the other side, exact same detail. We got a brake wheel. Now, unlike the old blue box reefers, which this is what it was patterned after, the uh, well actually, no, that yeah they don't. These uh, lift hatches, these hatches used to lift up. Um, they'd be locked down with this bar. Then the hatch could lift up, but these don't. In which I'm actually glad they don't do that because it's these are so annoying to. Uh, make sure they stay close. So that's the first car. I'll do some more explaining in a bit. Uh, this one is being stubborn. There we go. So off the side. This is the second car. I like them both um just the same. This one, however, I think is probably um, the better looking one because I like the black on it. It's a really nice black. Coca-Cola, serve yourself. Delicious and refreshing. <laughs> I beg to differ um, a little bit. My fa my all-time favorite is Pepsi. But still, though, Coke is good. It's I can I can live with it. About the same detailing as on the uh, other car. Uh, now, uh, However, the, um, hand the ladders have not been painted on this one. But you still get the same... Uh, in fact, you could probably see it right there. There's some writing right there. In fact, what does that say? Uh, the bottom one says D5 spring, and the top one says 1W steel wheels, and the top one just gives the num the uh, road and number. CCCX, number, this is number 2001. This one is numbered uh, 2059. Um, and does it have the same thing? Yeah. It's the same exact thing. Pretty much these are the same cars, except uh, for the detailing. Yeah, you got... Well, there's a lot of detail. In fact, almost just as much detail as the original Blue Box models. There's some writing up here, and it's legible. And I'm going to really quick see if I could read that. 
The Coca-Cola Company, all rights reserved. Mmm. That's, that's really small, and I'm surprised I could read that. I'm just... Built... Oh. Huh, we even got some build dates on these cars. Built 739. Ah, oh, not... This is 1939 car. Sweet-o. So, these are... So, real quick, I'm going to take a look at the other car, because I didn't read some of the detailing on that. It, I'll, I imagine it's just the same. Yep, the Coca-Cola Company, all rights reserved. Okay, this has got a different build date. This built 139, so this is January, and the other one is July of 1939. Huh, not, not bad. Same year car. And, oh, real quick, that's one thing I said I would talk about, and I almost forgot. Uh, at the start of the video, you guys probably remember that I said that these, um, one thing I noticed about these cars, even though they were still in their boxes, is that they, they showed no sign of having couplers. I asked Anthony about that, and he said that's actually the reason why he was getting rid of them was because they did not have couplers. And he did not know exactly what coupler they took, so I explained to him that there's actually a number of couplers you could use. Three of them that you can't, three of the easiest ones you could use are the standard, uh, uh, horn hook couplers that have the big spring that wrap around the loop. Um, you know the one. You guys know what I'm talking about. The ones that used to that would be included in the old blue box kits as well as the uh, old roundhouse uh, kits. Another coupler you could fit is the Bachman Easy Mates, whether it be the Mark One or Mark Two couplers, and you could fit in good old KD uh, magnetic knuckle couplers, whether it be high shanks, um, low shanks, or standard, or the standard shank couplers. Now. He was asking me, what couplers do I like? What did I plan on installing on these? And I said, well, I don't have any KDs right now, and so I'm just going to be installing some horn hooks. And then when I get some more KDs, I'm going to switch them to KD couplers. And what do you know? I get these cars the instant I pull these out of the box. I see, I see KD mag, uh, copper sprung magnetic knuckle couplers. These are some very high quality couplers. In fact, pretty much every coupler that KD makes is high quality because it's all quality built. One thing, however, you need to be careful of is to make sure the springs don't pop out, or else you're gonna have to replace springs. Or if you can't find the spring, you're gonna have to glue the uh, you're just gonna have to glue the knuckle shut. So this is what the cars look like on the track. We let's see. I'm gonna cup. I'm, I'm gonna cup one of these and put it to the side. These run fairly smoothly. In fact, he said these come with metal wheels. They are these metal wheels. They almost don't look like it. I think they are metal wheels because that you could hear them when they spin. But I may have to oil these. But I'm very impressed with these cars. I got a consist set aside for mainly cars that were kits, or they just look very good. And these car, these two cars are obviously going to be going on that consist. So, real quick, I got my Bachman Daylights here on the uh, test bench, and even though I don't have that much space to run it, I'm going to hook up the Daylight to the cars, and I'm probably just going to run them back and forth um, in a slow run by. Okay, so the first car is the 2001 car, the Serve Yourself. And it too has actually got a Katie knuckle coupler on the tail end. It's a high shank. It couples up very nicely. And then there's the other one. For a passenger engine, these two cars look great behind that daylight. I wish this daylight could pull that consist, even though it'd be freighting, it'd be kind of a disgrace. But the daylight it actually does not have as much pulling power. And the reason why is it's not as heavy. And number two, it it's got all smooth wheels, there's no traction tires. But that's beside the point. Oh. That, cup, that car went up on the ramp and it derailed itself. Alright, so this is just a this was just a quick video on the, my two new Atherin built Coca-Cola cars. I'm very happy to have these in my collection because now this is something I could scratch off my list. I've always wanted some Coca-Cola cars in my collection. I was never able to get some because they're they're always expensive. Um, in fact, uh, there's this one gentleman at the, my local flea market. He's uh, his shop is uh, literally filled to the brim with 
major soda company um, items, mostly old soda bottles that still have the soda in it, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, you name it, whether it be Pepsi products or Coca-Cola products. And he does have a, uh, I don't know if he still has it now, it's been like about a year since I've been there, but last I saw he had a Rail King steamer and he had a lot of bathroom uh, stuff, mostly Coca-Cola. And you saw the price of that one box. It's at thirteen ninety eight, which is a bit expensive. You're never gonna guess how how much this this uh, gentleman was selling those cars for. Twenty to twenty five dollars a car, because they they said Coca Cola on it, and I thought that's a bit outrageous. I'm unless that's just outrageous unless it was a rare car, which I seriously doubt. And so I just said I, I ain't paying twenty five dollars for a car. If I I could pay twenty five dollars for an engine, but not a car. So I was lucky to get these cars for free. Anthony, I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you letting me have these cars. They will get. They will be taken well care of, and they will see some service on my layout. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Rate, comment, and if you want to subscribe. That's it for now. I'm Am Swindell, and I'll see you next time.